So we're still finding exact values around the unit circle. This time though, we're gonna have a negative trig ratio. So like negative sine five pi and three. Now there's no real trick to this. It's not complicated at all. All we do is treat this as like negative one times sine five pi on three. And then we just deal with sine five pi on three as we have in the past, and then just multiply by negative one at the end. So a unit circle is a good idea. 5 pi on 3, that's pi on 3, 2 pi on 3, 3 pi on 3, 4 pi on 3, 5 pi on 3, that's over there like that. Now my reference angle, so I'll just draw in my 5 pi on 3. My reference angle is the angle between the x-axis and our line, which is going to be pi on 3. So now I can say that negative sine 5 pi on 3 is equal to negative 1 times sine 5 pi 3, which is equal to negative 1 times sine pi on 3. But wait a minute. C A S T. It's a sine ratio in the C quadrant. So it's not going to be sine pi on 3, it's going to be negative sine pi on 3. So I've got this negative 1 times a negative whatever that's going to be. Let's keep that negative 1 going. Sine, phi, uh, sine pi on 3, uh, opposite over hypotenuse, root 3 on 2, but negative. And now I have negative 1 times negative root 3 on 2 is equal to positive root 3 on 2. So if you've got a negative ratio, just treat it as a negative 1 out the front, work through it as you normally have, and then bring it back in and it'll swap that sign around.